Prison inmates might not be the only ones paying for their mistakes. Their families are also paying. They have a long drive to the penitentiary, and they don't always get to go in. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes is live in our newsroom now. And Jennifer, I know you spoke with a the family. They've seen the effects of this problem firsthand, and they are offering a solution. They do, and they also tell me, Rory, that uh, if you don't have a family member in the prison system, most people would think this doesn't apply to me, but it does because some of these inmates will get out eventually, and without the love and support of their family members, they may not have a positive outcome like the couple you're about to meet. I think some of them Joe and Kalita Russell didn't have time for a honeymoon, much less a wedding. That's because they got married while Joe was serving time on drug charges at the West Tennessee State Penitentiary. Joe says his prison time would have been more difficult had it not been for his wife's visits. It would have been hard. It would have been hard. It would have been hard. <laughs> But just as hard were the hurdles Kalita had to go through to get to him. For starters, there was the long drive to Henning, Tennessee. It was about a four-hour drive, and I drove all the way down there, and I thought that I had everything as far as the dress code, you know, pretty intact, and um, they didn't even allow me in. Joe was told many times he wouldn't get to see his wife because the facility was on lockdown, and he says that happened often. Just this past month, an inmate fight at the Northwest Correction Complex in Tiptonville forced the closure of the West Tennessee Penitentiary. It, it was real frustrating. It was real frustrating. That frustration is shared with at least six other families from the Corinthian Missionary Baptist Church. Reverend Enoch Fuzz says he hears similar stories on a daily basis. The, the mom who comes here who's sick, who wants to visit her son, but it takes four hours and she can't ride in a car for four hours. The Tennessee Department of Corrections had this to say about the concerns brought up today. We understand that some families drive long distances to see their family members. We are cognizant of that and post changes to visitations on our website and social media sites to keep them informed. Kalita says in spite of the obstacles, she never thought about ending her visits. I love them too much now. <laughs> but Joe says other families might not be as lucky, and that's why he's hoping things change. I mean, prison is supposed to be prison, but if it's, if it's corrections, then why not correct, or at least try to correct the problem. And one of their solutions is to bring prisoners to the city, actually put them in buses and bring them here to the city so they could see their families. But the Tennessee Department of Corrections says that that would be incredibly, um, it wouldn't be safe. It would, be, it would create significant safety risk, and it would also be very expensive. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD.